I'm sure there is. All right, let's go find that ship. Oh, have we not? No, this is the one we were just at, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. So let's go, let's go make that compass. As well as, uh, see if we can find a hidden entry point into, <sighs> I, think I really just want to find the vehicle bay, honestly. A hidden entry point into the other ship craft thing that we found. It claimed it needed a wire. I mean, not a wire, a, uh, no, that's not it. Oh, is that it? No, I think we... A laser, a laser cutting tool. Yeah, we've already found that one. Okay, but the two, the two of them were in this vicinity. Oh! What the shit? What was that? Just please go to Aurora without Seamoth. I want to hear you scream. There will be. This is a no screaming stream. Wait, what was that? An eye stalk. Indigenous plant life. I still came to Ellen Tuber dotted on the luminescence. Interesting. This is your primary to to <laughs> oh, they're like, uh, they're mesmerizing me. That's delightful. That's delightful. This is your primary they're like zapping my computer. It is your primary directive to cut, to swim closer to me so that I can eat you. That's so strange. All right, it, the last vehicle bay might be must be somewhere around here. <laughs> Chat's like, go to the vehicle. I mean, go to the uh, to the Aurora. Get the shit scared out of you. That is the best plan of action. Oh, copper ore, nice. Dying in a dreadful way is always the best plan of action. Right, that's the one. That's another one. Where could it be? Ah, it? Oh, it's more scrap metal. Oh, I bet that's it. I found it, chat. The last vehicle bay, hopefully. Peace. Yeah, nice. Hell yeah. Oh, interesting. That hotkey takes the UI away, I think. Yeah, it does. Oh, what are you? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so let's get back. There it is. All right, give me one second, chat. I will be right back to fix something real quick. Perfect. All right, so compass and a vehicle bay. Those are our priorities, our prerogatives. Okay, I'll take that, sure, why not? They have so much titanium, it's getting ridiculous. Let's swim to the giant coral. And the sea moth is next. Lots of bladderfish. Don't forget to save. Good call. Thank you, actually. It's been a while. I wonder if F F5 is the hotkey for this. Oh, it's not. Okay. You live and you learn. I guess there's, there might not be a quick save option. All right. Seamoth and then Aurora. <laughs> you know the game might crash. It very well might. It very well might. I would say it's probably less likely to, um, since it's been under, de under development for so long. They've probably taken a lot of the fatal crash 
air is out. But uh, I have had pretty almost every game I've played for a long time has crashed on me at some point or another. Taisho says, "Did this just come out? It did." This game has been under development for a while now. I think over six months, maybe even a year. And I played it a long time ago, um, kind of earlier on in the development cycle. I think it, I think it was in early access. I don't remember exactly what it was. Some form of that. And it just got its official release like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, so I figured I'd revisit it. It is damn good. If you like sur survival sims, and uh, especially... Oh, shit. Thank you, computer. Vital signs stabilizing. Especially like water depth based survival sims. This game is amazing. I could not recommend it more if you are a fan of that category. Okay. Oh, let's grab our uh, medical kit for the day. Let's go ahead and make some water. Lots and lots of water. I'll pass, thanks though. That is absolutely okay. But yes, it did just come out. You're not a fan of survival sims, I take it. You should give him a name. I should give him a name. I will give him a name. Ah, uh, you don't like underwater anything, really. The water, I love the water. I am a, I actually am a licensed scuba diver. Um, which is awesome. I love, I already love scuba diving in real life. So why not do it here? Mobile vehicle base. We need a titanium ingot and a power cell. So we already have a titanium ingot. Um, so. There it is. So we need two batteries and some rubber. I think we already have one free battery right now. Uh, we may have used it. <laughs> you don't want to be anywhere near the water. Then I would guess this game is probably not for you. Because, uh... <laughs> there is some terrifying underwater things in it. As DJ has been oh so gracious to make us aware of. I'm sure we will find later. How ironic that you were stationed five, five minutes away from the ocean. That is a bit ironic. Okay. So. Our, our objective is to make the vehicle bay. Let's make some food as well. Oh, we don't have enough. Really? This one we had food. Guess we don't. Okay. Consume. Let's top our health off. Or top our vitals off, I should say. Use a first aid kit. Uh, we almost have the advanced fins, which would be really nice. We could start moving a lot faster. Okay, I believe we have our lubricant in here. We do. Put those out. Titanium ingot. I think we need one other thing. Vehicle bay. Where is that? Mobile vehicle bay. A power cell. Okay. Batteries. Wait, I could have sworn we just found tons of copper ore. Did that not happen? Did I put those away or something? Gold, gold. Did we really not find copper ore? Weird. Salt. How are you doing today, Taisho? Sworn. Ooh, plus steel ingots. I don't have any lithium, though. You're strangely tired. I'm sorry to hear that. You should take a nap. Laser cutter. Ah. So we need one more scan to get this laser cutter. Okay, so I guess we. I really thought we found copper. That's weird. That is really strange. I believe the only thing left of this uh, vehicle bay, yeah, is a power cell, and we need two batteries to do that. So let's go find some copper. Let's go searching for copper. Stranger, 
could have sworn, but that, I guess I guess not. Oh, you'll be picking your mother up from work soonish. Nice. That's nice of you. Well, after that, then I guess. Copper. Nice. Oh, we must have used it to build. Oh, and we gotta build the compass as well. I I almost forgot. I almost forgot. That would have been awful. Okay, we have plenty of mushrooms now for the batteries. Let's see if we can find any more copper down here. Be copper, be copper! Oh, titanium! Curses! There it is. After. I should play Warframe or PUBG. Not sure which I'll do. Nice. Hell yeah. Have you been playing a lot of Warframe lately? Get a couple more bladder fish. For the water and for the children. Actually, mostly for the water. Perfect. All right, uh, I'll get one more acid mushroom. Let's go try and find a little more copper. Ooh. Oh. There's one all the way out here too. Oh, wait, shit. We're not all the way out here. We're right where they should. <laughs> We're right where that should be. Just kidding, I take it back. It's better played with friends, uh, but not many I know that play it. Yeah, yeah. I bet there's, I bet there's a, actually I know, I'm pretty certain there's a lot of streamers out there, like Warframe streamers, that have communities based around, like, finding people to play Warframe with. So you could probably go that direction and find, find some, find some crowds to play it with. Go get some air. Well, I'm gonna play Overwatch after the stream ends, which I hope it won't end because I'm having fun now. Nice. Hell yeah. It's been a while since I've played Overwatch. I used to play a lot of it, but like right when it came out, so like over a, over a year ago. Um, and I haven't really played a whole lot since then. I'm thinking about checking out Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Um, probably not on stream, but I, that's a game I'm looking at right now. What time is it? We're about three hours in. The the normal stream, um, the afternoon stream usually goes for about four hours, DJ. And then I take uh, about an hour break for dinner. Um, and then I usually come back and play a different game in the after, after dinner period. In the evening, I should say. Um, so I think actually for a while we're going to be doing this. Your level in Overwatch is over 506 now. Nice! You seem to be someone who gets very dedicated to a game, and I like that. I have a lot of respect for people that put a lot of hours in games. That is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I think what I'm going to be doing is playing Subnautica for at least the next like three or four days in the afternoon, and then coming back and playing a, a different game in the evening. That's that's kind of been the pattern we've been doing as far as games go. It's just I'm kind of. You kind of like to play PUBG with you one day? <laughs> Maybe. I deleted PUBG like uh, three months ago. Ooh, copper. Please be copper. Yes! Okay, let's go make some batteries real quick. A couple months ago. Um, and I really, I really just haven't... It, it's because I couldn't get back into it very much. I don't know. I really don't know. Is there, is there cross-platform play, by the way, out of curiosity in PUBG? Okay. Battery. Good stuff. And battery. Good stuff. Too bad 1.0 was a bit of a step up. I know, yeah. That's the, that's kind of the unfortunate thing. I deleted it like two months before 1.0 came out. So I didn't, even, I didn't even have that chance. So maybe I will one day. We'll see. Especially if there's not a whole lot of games coming out, I might revisit it for a couple streams. But I'd say it's pretty unlikely for at least a while. Cross-platform is on its way, but not quite there. Gotcha. Thank you, Deja. You are, as always, full of information. All right. Then grab that power cell and make 
Our vehicle bay, finally! I'm so excited for this. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, we need to actually, we need to actually make it. That <laughs> we should, <laughs> we should probably actually make the thing. Okay. Here we go. Go bay. Yes. All right, now we're gonna make our. Uh, we can use this, float it in the water, and then use it to make our moth, our sea moth of lore and love. Vaulting is a nice function, makes everything easier. Yeah, I bet it does actually, I bet that's amazing. Release vehicle bay. Hell yes. Oh my God. We've done it. Wait, what? Wait, where do we release it? Oh, we had to do it down here? Back up. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Dude! <laughs> this has to be really obvious that I'm missing something. Put it in your hand. Oh, okay. Oh. And then just, boop. All right, here we go. Does it, does it have to be on the surface? Or we put it down here. We'll put it next to our boxes. We'll do that. Okay, here we go. Yes! <laughs> that took way too much effort. I don't know why. I figured we could just drop it like everything else and it would just be usable. And that's why <laughs> that's that's why you're here, DJ. Alright. Hell yeah, I am so unreasonably excited about this for some reason. Oh god, alright. Vehicles and the sea moth. So we need to make another titanium ingot, another power cell, and some more glass. We have enough glass, so I think we have enough to make another titanium ingot as well. But I don't think we have enough copper to make a, two more batteries. I think we can only make one. Let's do that real quick. Battery? Maybe we do. No, okay. So we gotta go get one more copper. It's nice to see you so excited. Why, thank you, Teisho. <laughs> if anything, one of my failings is not lack of enthusiasm. Let's just say that. <laughs> and the coffee is keeping me perked up today. All right. Um, we need to start catching fish besides bladderfish, probably. Oh, God, that's awesome. All right. <laughs> I really like his devil smile. <laughs> Chat. You're flattering me. You're flattering me. <laughs> okay. Um, shit, I, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, we, we gotta go find some copper. And also... Wait, what else do we need for this? I forget. Lubricant. Oh, we need to make another ingot. So let's go ahead and grab... Yeah, we need ten of these. Yeah, we have plenty. Okay. What would you say are your failings? That's a good question. Um, well, a very obvious one is that, especially in competitive video games, and this this relates more to video games um, than in real life, though it is, it is somewhat pertaining to real life as well, is that I have a tendency to be overconfident, um, which in playing competitive or extremely challenging video games is somewhat of a failing because it makes me blunder where uh, if I was more cautious, I would not blunder, if that makes sense. Especially in multiplayer video games. Okay, copper. We need to find copper. So that's a good one. I'm at an interview. I am at a job interview right now, and I'm being asked questions. <laughs> what are your failings, Triangle? What do you say you do best in a work environment? How, uh, how well do you work with others? And when working with others, what role do you like to play? All right, uh, let's go down into this pit here. That seems like a likely location to die because of 
those creepy things that explode. Now we need to find rocks to hit. Oh, give me the oxygen. Give me the oxygen. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, I really thought there would be something in here. Yes, we need to find more copper right now. We need to make one more battery, and then we can make our Sea Moth of Legends! Be the first Subnautica player ever to procure a Sea Moth. And when I say the first ever, I mean, like, probably the millionth. Since I'm, since I'm interviewing you and, all, you and all that. If someone asked you a very obvious question that a two-year-old should know to mock you, how would you react? Uh, it, depends, it depends on the question. If I don't know it, probably ashamed, because a two-year-old should know it and I don't know it. Oh, this is, I think this is out of battery. Oh, huh. If I did know it, I would probably just answer it, and then maybe chide them slightly for uh, not knowing. But if it was on stream, titanium shit. If someone asked me a very obvious question on stream, I would just answer it. Because in my mind, streaming is one of the epitomes of customer service as far as entertainment goes. And if someone doesn't know something and I do know it, especially if I have more viewers, um, then I go into it expecting to answer the same question, even if it's obvious over and over again. Buzz, hello! I am happy to be playing this game as well. It is so damn fun, especially since they like since they fully released it. Like when I played, I played it a long time ago off stream, <laughs> and uh, it was good but very incomplete. It seems the game seems whole now. Like there's, it seems like there's just so much in every direction you look. You can just keep going, keep going. <laughs> Elvar's yawning. You can't be tired, it's only like one o'clock in the morning there, Elvar, what are you talking about? In day show, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that could be, that could be a problem, it just depends. I mean, some people like to go to streams that aren't all customer service-y and answer -y. Um, it really just depends on the viewer base. That's just how I interpret streaming, and it's not always the case. But, I am a, generally, I generally am a fairly nice and amiable person. Um, so that, that helps towards my approach to streaming, I should say. A coral tube! Let's go! Oh, I thought I was new! <laughs> Buzz, you are new. Brilliantly new. <laughs> I'm here to ask questions you have already answered. <laughs> go ahead, Buzz. <laughs> what the shit is that? Oh my god, I've never seen this. That is a giant coral tube! That is huge! Right, let's refill completely. Oh, you thought it was new. You thought Subnautical was new. I mean, it is. It just got fully released. It's just been out for a while as far as um, development cycle goes. Oh, perfect. Copper. Yes! Okay, now we can build our, ne our next battery. We're going to go and smash all of these to get all the ores, and then we're going to go build the batteries. What was that I just picked up? I don't know. As you are talking to me, of course, triangular one. What the shit is that? Yeah, actually, you know what? That I have said that saying more today than I have probably in the last month of streams. That is that is part of the amazing thing about this game, is it just, there are surprises around every single corner. And it is delightful. Oh, copper, hell yeah. Look at it! Look at this coral tube! <laughs> That's amazing looking! Uh, okay, I'll take more titanium. We, we can just start stacking the titanium into, um... Oh, we're getting so much copper ore. Damn, look at this! Look at this, chat! Oh, we're out of... Oh, we're gonna be able to make so many batteries! Oh, yes! Oh, we also need to work on making our rebreather as well. 